file in this Monday. Deck 5, 2016. File photo. Former South Carolina police officer Michael Slager. Right. Walks from the Charleston County Courthouse under the protection of the Charleston County Sheriff's Department after a mistrial was declared for his trial in Charleston. S. C. L. Slager is in court Monday. Deck. 4. 2017. Facing a possible life sentence for the April 2015 shooting death of Walter Scott. The foot chase and shooting were captured by a bystander on cell phone video that was seen by millions online. Slager pleaded guilty and made it violating Scott's civil rights. A state jury deadlocked last year on murder charges, which were dropped as part of his federal plea deal. AP Photo, Mike Smith. File, Charleston, S. C. Prosecutors rested their case Tuesday in the sentencing hearing for a white former police officer who pleaded guilty to violating the civil rights of a black man he shot in the back while he ran from a traffic stop. Prosecutors put up three witnesses and tried to convince a judge that former North Charleston police officer Michael Slager should face life in prison for the fatal shooting of Walter Scott in April 2015. Cell phone video of the shooting was shared widely on social media in the days after the shooting and it but has taken center stage once again at the sentencing hearing. Prosecutors called experts to analyze the video and dispute the officer's contention that he fired in self-defense after Scott reached for his stun gun. The defense's first witness was Grant Fredericks, a forensic video analyst who took apart the video frame by frame. From his analysis of the video, blurred at times because the men were moving, Fredericks said it was clear that the two men had struggled on the ground before the shooting. As Slager has contended, it's certainly an altercation, Fredericks said. Clearly a fight is going on. On the ground. On Monday, FBI agent Anthony Immel enhanced the video to highlight Slager's stun gun lying on the ground. Several feet behind the officer as he ran after and shot Scott. Prosecutors think Scott was not a threat while he was running away. Immel also walked prosecutors through video showing Slager running back to the stun gun, picking it up, and later dropping it by Scott's body. Slager, 36, pleaded guilty in federal court in May to violating Scott's civil rights by shooting Scott without justification. Federal sentencing officials have recommended between 10 to nearly 13 years in prison in Slager's. Attorneys are asking for less than that. There's nothing in Michael Slager's background, from birth to today, of any racial animus or any harassment of minority members of the community. His attorney Andy Savage said, countering assertions that the officer acted violently because Scott was black. Slager pulled Scott over on April 4, 2015, for a broken brake light. He said he shot the 50-year-old black motorist in self-defense after Scott tried to grab his taser. At the end of the sentencing hearing, a judge will decide whether he thinks the civil rights violation was voluntary manslaughter or murder. Prosecutors think it's murder, making Slager eligible for a life sentence. Defense attorneys say Slager, who has been in jail since May, deserves less because he has accepted responsibility for the shooting. In the cell phone video, Scott is shown getting about 17 feet, 5 meters, from Slager before the officer fires at him eight times. Scott was hit five times in the back. Slager's trial on state charges ended in a hung jury and a murder charge was dropped as part of Slager's federal plea deal. Underscore 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 Kinnard can be reached at http Twitter, com, Meg Kinnard app. Read her work at https, appnews, com, search, Meg percent 20 Kinnard.